to uh, a phone. Okay, try again. Now is it working? The mic wasn't pushed in all the way. Test it now. <laughs> As always. Now, now it's working. Okay. All right, guys. I want to thank all of those diehards out there. You know, they say persistence overcomes resistance. And that's what we're going to be working on is persistence. Every time, every day, every, every week that you are on that seller sizer, you are a success and you are making a difference. Again, movement up and down on that seller sizer, back flushes valves, opens up capillaries, increases oxygen, blood flow to the brain. It is all weight bearing. And yes, there's a great many things we can accomplish with it. Today, what we're going to be talking about mostly is the immune system. What we can do to strengthen the lymphatic and the immune system so that we're stronger, healthier, and we can be more resistant to the viruses and various different things that are, that are out there. The immune system is remarkable. There's a number of doctors who believe that if the immune system was operating at its potential, which means we've got a lot of potential, it would be almost impossible to get sick. Irrespective, I do believe that there are basic things that we can do to improve the immune system. So tonight we'll be talking a little bit about that. We're going to be answering some questions. So if you have questions regarding the seller sizer, things that you are experiencing, questions you might have for yourself or, or even for somebody you care about, please write those questions in and um, we'll do the best that we can to, to address them. Uh, in addition to that, we'll be reading some questions and sharing some customer reviews. Um, we've got some pretty remarkable customer reviews. I'd also like to take a moment, since it keeps coming up, to talk a little bit about what makes the seller sizer a seller sizer compared to other mini trampolines that are out there on the market and what makes a good mini trampoline work for exercise purposes and what we want to accomplish. Well, when I created the seller sizer, virtually all mini trampolines on the market were using canvas, nylon, or plastic mats, which looked the same from a distance. But again, and many of you have heard me say this, the canvas nylon and plastic mats, when you stand in the middle, you will sink and the feet pronate. And when you're landing and your feet are pronating because the mat material itself is stretching, that can cause stress on the ankles, the knees, the hips, and even cause back problems. So we have to have good support under the feet. The solar sizer resists pronation. That mat material is a polypropylene where every fibers, <clears throat> every fibers put under nearly 200 tons of pressure. So it's extremely dense. You're not going to stretch it out. We have customers who have been using the seller sizer for 25 plus years. Um, our seller sizers and the one outside it has been out there for 16 years out in the sun, the rain, the snow. We still use it. Still works fine. That mat material is key so that when you alter the angle of your body or you're doing different movements, you know you're going to have the support you need. The springs, and you've heard me talk about them, they're a tridaptable spring. We own that technology. That is a patented spring technology that basically allows the body to accelerate and decelerate. Stop or jar. Whether you're 300 pounds or whether you're 30 pounds, we want to make sure you have the right support. So that's, that's why we have the spring. The steel in the spring makes a big difference. The steel in our springs are so strong, it destroys conventional spring mold. So we created a tungsten steel mold to be able to produce our spring. But what does that mean? It means you don't have to replace the springs every couple of years like you do with typical 
or many typical rebounders. Our springs are around 20 years later and they're still doing great. The steel was so strong, again, it destroyed spring mold. So we, we produce a tungsten steel mold, but we have a good, strong spring. The only thing that really will compromise that spring is if people do jumping jacks or they're jumping too high and they land on top of the spring. That can literally fracture the spring. In over 30 years of doing my program, I have never broken a spring and I use them all the time. If you follow my program and the way we teach it, you'll stay closer to the center of the mat on the different movements. You won't land on the springs and it should last, you know, you shouldn't ever have to replace the spring. If you like doing jumping jacks, just know chances are you'll break some springs and you may need to replace them. And I've had people tell me, they say, I don't care. <laughs> it doesn't, they don't cost that much to break the spring if I have to replace the spring. And there are people that want to do the routine and I'm not arguing with you. That's, that's absolutely fine. Um, there's other features on the solar sizer that make it what it is. Our monitor, that one came up this week too. What makes our monitor, and you can see this here, what makes our monitor different than the monitors that'll count the number of steps? And it's, it's because we've got a patent pending on this. It uses an accelerometer. An accelerometer measures deflection. It measures uh, g-forces. It gives us the ability to to show the intensity and to um, explain the number of calories and show you the number of calories that that you're burning while using it. And, and it does it counts the number of steps as well. But that's not a cheap piece of equipment. So those of you who have one. I just want you to know you've invested in something that no one else has. And it's something that, um, that has been proven to be very, very effective. We love it. We use it all the time. And of course, we also have our, um, our new wireless device, which it's, it's really ready. We're waiting for some packaging right now. And then we're going to be introducing that. And many of you have seen that. It's the little, uh, and it also has the same accelerometer built into it so that if you want to um, use it, and you'll all have a chance to see this. Now it's connected. And when you, when you start, you'll see a little orange button on the side that will come up when you get one and it'll show you the, the intensity, the calories burned, the total number of bounces that you're doing and you can see all of that up on the screen. All right, so let's read some customer reviews. If you have any questions with regards to the product, um, please uh, let me know and I'd be happy to answer or uh, clarify anything. Okay, Christine writes, I have to tell you my little story. Went to San Diego, packed the worst shoes ever to walk in. The jarring impacting of walking all over the place in less than desirable shoes left my calves a mess. I couldn't walk without excruciating pain. When I got back, I helped bounce for five minutes and went to work. What a blessing, hardly any pain. Thank you, Dave, for your masterpiece. All right, let's... David writes, I use my cellar sizer outside in the sun most mornings and I never fail to celebrate the moment when a few minutes into bouncing, a fog behind my eyes lifts and I feel as if I have come up from underwater. I see better, hear better, and my mind is clear. It feels like I've shaken off the night. At that point, I may or may not go ahead and do a cardio routine for 20 or more minutes but the cellar sizer has already prepared me for the day. And thank you. I, you know, I, this is from David. David, I agree with you. It is the best wake up call, as many of you know, that we can give our bodies every morning. It, ch it helps change blood chemistry, stimulates the lymphatic circulatory systems, pineal gland, thyroid, adrenals, endocrine system. It goes on and on and on. 
my cellar size has become the single most transformative item of exercise equipment that I own, surpassing even my bicycle and my free weights. What else can so dramatically change my body and my mind in as few as five minutes, rarely more than seven? I began rebounding in the last century with a series of hand-me-down mini trampolines and garage sale finds. And when the last of three or four different ones were, were out, I decided to get the best on the market as solar sizer. That was around 10 years ago, and I have never regretted it for a minute. At this point, I wouldn't waste time or energy looking for at other brands. One of the things I like most about the solar sizer is how sturdy and flat the mat stays. On inferior brands, the mat sinks low when your foot hits it, causing the foot or ankle to roll inward. But on the cellar size of your feet, have all the support they need to maintain proper placement and thus keep your ankles, knees, and hips in correct alignment as well. A big secret you should know is that if you want to improve the appearance of the back pockets on your favorite jeans, David Hall's Jamba Run is virtually virtually guaranteed to turn heads and inspire compliments in a remarkable short amount of time. <laughs> All right, David. One of my favorite things about the Jamba Run is that you can feel various small and large areas of your body vibrating while you do it. And you know those places are on their way to looking better soon. Also, Cellar Size is an American company with a record of quality and integrity. There's a kind of satisfaction you get from doing business with people you trust, people whose names you know, people who are proud of their product and committed to providing the best customer experience possible. If you're considering purchasing a rebounder, you can't go wrong with a cellar sizer. It's a phenomenal tool for improving your health and overall well-being, and it's a company that sincerely wants you to grow healthier and happier while using their product. You can't get that anywhere else. Dave, that was beautiful, and thank you very much. I printed out that out. I don't think I'd had a chance to read it. So that was dear. And he's being sincere. And, and I'm being sincere. And I think you all know that. Our objective here isn't just to sell you a unit. It isn't. Not at all. It's to help you get results. And if you use a different unit, you're adopted anyway. Because again, we want you to have the best healthful experience you can get while doing routines that are safe and that are effective. But again, you got it to get results, and there's a lot you can accomplish on it. Okay, Reverend Brown writes, Greetings from the great fan of Solar Size Rebounder. First, let me state that I'm 74 years old. The last six months, I've had an amazing and gratifying journey for me as I've lost over 40 pounds using a pared-down version of Nutrisystem in my Solar Size Rebounder. Over the last two decades, I had slowly gained weight until I was wearing size 44 pants. Today I'm at 190 pounds wearing size 34. When I first began this journey in November 2020, I was using my Bowflex Tread Climber exclusively for exercise, even though I had two cellar size rebounders. The Tread Climber began to have issues and I found that they had stopped making parts for it in 2009, so I discarded it and set up my cellar sizer. That was when I really began to lose weight. Since the COVID outbreak, I have stepped up my video production ministry by producing inspirational videos featuring outdoor settings. In the background, recently on a trip to Tennessee, I produced two videos at the beautiful campground where we were staying at in Clarksville. The first one is my exercise routine. The second, my stretching routine. My goal is to challenge others to lose weight and get fit. If this 74-year-old man can do it, so can you. <laughs> Thank you. I think we've read that one. All right, that one. Ah, this is from Sony. Sony's been a customer of ours for many, many years, and she is an inspiration. She's out there really spreading the, the word and helping, as many of you are, others really improve their quality of life. And so I'm glad to be able to read this. Hi, David. It was a really nice conversation with you, sharing my recent experience using the solar sizer. Five days ago, at about 11 p.m., as I placed some food inside the refrigerator, a large beer, almost a gallon, filled with almond milk, fell, so a large beer bottle, fell on my right big toe. 
I was experiencing an excruciating pain on the biggest toe of, on my right foot. Inflammation was building up fast. My husband, Bob, was already asleep and was awakened with my moaning of excruciating pain. Knowing that the cellar is a tool to decrease and end inflammation, as taught by David Hall and Jerry, David's assistant, I immediately went to the trampoline to do some baby bounces. When my husband saw me on the cellar sizer, he, he thought I was a nut bouncing at 11.30 p.m. with excruciating pain. He insisted I should go to bed to sleep and try to recover from the painful trauma. And we had to have an early start in the morning. So I went to sleep. I didn't sleep well with that excruciating pain from the ballooning swelling. However, the next day, as soon as I woke up, I was limping and hurriedly cellar sized for 20 minutes. Again, my husband was thinking that I was crazy again to do that with so much pain, so much inflammation, including the deep black and blue toe. I didn't care what he thought. I just had to do what I needed to do and do it badly. When I was cellar sizing, I didn't feel any pain making it possible to do my cellar size usual routines. I was having a good time and feeling better with no pain. After I finished baby bouncing for 20 minutes, I immediately took off my right foot sock and I was amazed to see my right big toe was no longer swollen like my left big toe and also and also with decreased black and blue color. Most of all, no more pain. Since the inflammation miraculously disappeared, I can walk straight without limping as if nothing drastic happened the night before. When my husband witnessed the miracle, he was as amazed, amazed as I was. I told him he just saw only one of the wonders of cellar sizing. I keep cellar sizing every day, even the inflammation was gone. The black and blue toe was completely gone on the third day. What an incredible experience. Thank you, Dave, for inventing the cellar size, helping so many people have quality of lives. You and the cellar sizer are are God sent. You make my life wholesome. I am forever grateful. God bless you, David Hall, Cellar Size and fantastic staff and Cellar Size family. Sony. Thank you, Sony. Oh boy. Okay. Amy writes. So here's this. I'm a bruiser. All my life I have managed to acquire bruises without even realizing how. So when I fell today hard, hard enough to rub some skin up, the fact that I'm not bruised is impressive. Normally by now this area would be red and turning blue. The fall was nine hours ago on painted steel. And she shows where she fell and <laughs> she's doing good. And yes, you know when I am, um, oh, there's, there's a picture of Sony. She, uh, talks about how it's, it's helped her prevent and avoid wrinkles. Um, she looks very young in this, but she's, um, she's actually older and in, in, in great shape. But when I broke my ankle, one of the first things that I did was I was on the cellar sizer holding on to a crutch at the time because I was traveling and I was bouncing up and down with my foot over the side and I did that quite a bit and of course um, it healed very quickly and the doctor became one of my customers. Tina says, newbie here, I just watched the live from last night and did the workout with Dave and Christine. I got my cellar sizer two and a half weeks ago, I love it. After getting mine, several family members have ordered one. My bad posture for t from 21 years of driving for a living has already greatly improved. I'm feeling stronger every day. Many thanks to you, Dave. Thank you, Tina. <laughs> Amy writes, the cellar sizer is my new favorite cross training tool. The benefits that I am experiencing after just a few weeks are incredible. I have a cranky hamstring that has bothered me for years running overuse injury. I am finally getting some relief. I'm loving the workouts and also running on the cellar sizer. The customer service is also top notch. I had a minor issue with my balance bar and within 10 minutes of my initial phone call to customer service, I received a call from David Hall himself. <laughs> All right, thank you. Oh, gee, you know, these, these, are, these are great. And I, I wish you could hear so many of the calls. 
that I have on the phone, but we'll save some of these for next time. Um, questions? All right. Not on topic, but wondering when the Bluetooth monitor will be available. Thanks. Me too. Very, very soon. In fact, next week we will probably, actually, I'll talk to my, we've got our board meeting tomorrow. I'll set up so <clears throat> we can start pre-ordering those now. Um, so we'll put that up this week. I've got a company right now putting together a graphic um, model of it for our shopping cart so that you can actually go in and read about it, see it, and I'll see how close we are to getting that done. And once that's done, um, we'll make it available to the public. In the interim, for those of you as part of our seller size family on Facebook, we're, we'll let you pre-order it. So call us on Wednesday. If you want to pre-order one of, one of those, we'll know more about the details and the pricing and, and um, how to get that into your hands. But it is, I use it. Everybody here, once you use that, the app is great as a standalone. No worries, it's, it's, it's good. And again, we have over 30 new routines that we're testing right now to put on it. But in addition to that, the, um, um, the monitor just makes you work a little bit harder and but it's fun so and that's what we want to make it we want to make it fun post chemo but still getting Im immunotherapy infusions for what is left of the remaining breast tumor how can jumping on cellular size help with this i just started jumping recently for lymph flow i haven't had surgery okay one of the techniques that i teach that i believe is very powerful for the upper all chest cavity area in the lungs pumping of the lymph system and oxygenation. And that's, and you've seen me do it. <clears throat> is standing here on the cellar sizer and just pumping with your arms, which pumps the lymph system while it increases oxygen into the bloodstream. Now those are very helpful um, techniques. And again, start off easy because you can get a little dizzy if you get a lot more oxygen in the bloodstream and it goes to your head and so so just be careful when you start off and again the bronchial tubes and lungs may be a little sensitive when you first begin but it goes like this again oh i'm glad to do that i wanted to do that since before i got on the cellar side but you can hear it also changes voice quality as well so if you're a singer, a radio announcer, or something like that, it, uh, it really gets to that other one-third of the lung, and it helps open up the larynx, too. So once you try that, you'll know what, what I'm talking about. How does rebounding compare with vibration plates? <clears throat> well, <clears throat> a vibration plate is very disruptive. That's what it's designed to do. It's also disruptive to the nervous system. I like to think of it as like this. If you take a baby and you want to put a baby to bed or sleep or help baby relax, you're not going to take that baby and violently shake it. You'd be thrown in prison probably anyway. But, uh, but the baby loves the gentle movement up and down. So the difference is, yeah, if you're breaking something apart, um, you can do that, but you, you, it, it destroys homeostasis and the balance. The balance is off, the body is off balance, literally off balance. I mean, I can take somebody and I do the strength and balance test after they've been on a, one of those uh, machines and, and I've done this and they just, they just fall over. They don't have the strength. They don't have the homeostasis. So I'm not saying that you can't use them, but what I'm saying is that when you're done using them, get on the cellar sizer, restore homeostasis. There's benefits, there can be benefits in both of them, but the cellar sizer helps to increase literally helps the body to increase in homeostasis, balance, communication, circulation. So it's flowing collectively again as a whole. Um, and that's, so I, I don't use them. I just do the cellar sizer, but I know that there are people that use them. I hope that helps. So, um, Would it be redundant to do both? No, they're, they're actually, they're different. They have different purposes. And so it, uh, it isn't redundant to do both. 
And also, how does it compare with swinging on a swing? Well, that's an interesting point. Horseback riding and swinging on a swing actually have elements that are similar. A little different, but, but they're similar. Swinging on a swing creates acceleration and deceleration, and it's all opposing gravity. So swinging is wonderful, helps increase circulation. That is fun. It, it, you can't do exercises on it, but the G-forces and the, the movement and the pumping, wonderful, it's great. Does rebounding strengthen the vagus nerve? We don't have any, um, we don't have any in, in indication of that. We do know it helps to open up circulation. It challenges uh, the nervous system as we're doing different movements up and down. So it wouldn't surprise me uh, as we're challenging the nervous system and different body parts and functions and digestion, elimination, that it's, it's, it's involved directly or indirectly. And I don't know. Uh, we do need more research done on it. I agree with that. Does rebounding help with hiatal hernia? It can. And again, with your, consult with your doctor or if you have a medical condition or a concern, but just by the movement up and down helps to pull things down. And if you tighten the muscles it, while you're moving up and down, you have an isometric with an isotonic. So just, just tightening and bouncing is going to help strengthen all the, the um, connective tissues as well as the, uh, the fascia that works all throughout the different parts of the body. Rebounding after total knee replacement, is it possible? <laughs> uh, I'd say it's essential personally, but um, check with your doctor because they're going to know your particular situation. But the cellar sizer, especially for rehab purposes, gently moving up and down moves fluid through the tissue and causes the tissue to gently expand and contract. Very little, you know, it, it, it's, it's very gentle, less jarring than walking on the ground. Um, spreading the feet apart a little bit when it's time, bending at the knee, walking in place. You're working now not by putting pressure on the joint itself or the appliance, but by working on the supporting muscles and ligaments around the knee. And that's, that's very helpful as well, just like that. And then rocking side to side. As you're rocking side to side, you're working both sides of the knee. The hips are working as well. So those are very basic movements that can be extremely helpful. Anyone else suffer from burping whilst jumping? <laughs> As a matter of fact, I remember when we would feed our, our girls when they were babies, Brooklyn, you too. <laughs> it's a long time ago. And we, I'd put, her, put the, our, our children over my shoulder and I would gently bounce up and down. And yep, they would burp on both ends sometimes, but the movement helps to relieve the gas. It's very common and very common on both ends for, for many people as well. So yes, it helps to free, and, and absolutely. Um, any ideas about how to reduce or eliminate this bothersome issue? Oh, <laughs> well, a lot of that has to do with digestion, elimination processes occurring within your body. So um, the cellar sizer can help alleviate it. It's not, <laughs> I don't know how to, prevent it, that, that would um, often have to do a lot with diet or the condition of your, your, uh, your colon as well and your intestines. Hello, I've strained my lower back. Would it be helpful to do the baby bounce or should I just wait until it's better? And if you have any tips for faster healing, I'd appreciate that. When the back is strained, um, yeah, the, it, it, again, the cellar sizer, you approach it gently. This gentle movement, if you can do it, can be very helpful. Now, if you have a specific condition, again, I have to say consult with your doctor, but for a strain, for muscles, this gentle rocking side to side can be very helpful. You're not going to do anything crazy. Um, that's for a strain. Now, if you've hurt a nerve or you pinched a nerve, I wouldn't do the vertical movement 
for a while. I let the inflammation, um, you know, the swelling go down. However, to help with that, the, the technique that I've taught, and many of you have seen it, where you lie down on the cellar and somebody else bounces you up and down, that has offered immediate relief for a great many people because it helps to get rid of the inflammation, increase circulation, reduce the swelling, and promote passive healing. Hi Dave, wanted to get your advice. I have a C-section June 9th and was wondering when it would be okay to start rebounding again in your opinion. Yeah, I can't answer that. I wish I could. I don't know your situation. Um, check with your doctor. He will know when you can start doing exercises again. But one of the ones you can consult with your doctor on, which I think is, could be very helpful when, when you're ready, is where you sit down on the cellar You can support yourself with your hands on the side and gently bounce up and down. It's just very little movement. It, it's still working this area, to, but, but you're not putting a lot of strain on it because you're supporting yourself. Now, if you take away your hands, yes, you're putting a little bit more strain on this area because you're leaning back some too while you're bouncing. This, you can regulate the amount of, of stress or weight to that area. And of course, as you get stronger and you can you know, start lifting your feet up one at a time or both at a time to balance and really build up that whole area of your body. Okay. Okay. It says, hi, David. I love what you do. I really enjoy rebounding. I have a Bellicon rebounder, but from what I hear from you, it may be sluggish compared to your cellar sizer. It is. We adopt you anyway, but you're, you're not going to get the kind of results. You can't. You don't have the resistance. It's too soft. Um, on a cellar sizer, we have the resistance. Your cells, the body needs resistance to get stronger. If it's too soft, it's fun, but it's not going to give you the kind of strength that you're going to get from something that's going to give you the kind of support that that the cellar sizer gives. Typical trampolines, bungee cords included, they're more sluggish and they're slower. But they're not really made for exercise like the cellar sizer is. But they're fun. Okay, so when you're moving up and down, um, your cells on a cellar sizer are flexing many more times per minute. And re with resistance, the cellar sizer is built for health and fitness. And so when you alter the angle of your body in different positions to create leverage, you're going to be supported on the cellar sizer. And that's, that's what we want. And I've had people who've graduated from a Bellicon to a cellar sizer and then tried to do some of the things that they did on a Bellicon on a cellar sizer and they found out, oh no, they feel it on the cellar sizer. <laughs> well, you will. The cellar sizer is very helpful at exposing weaknesses because it has a resistance, but it's not jarring, it's not tearing down, it's not damaging like typical exercises on the floor or ground might be, but it's going to build up and, and strengthen. So you approach it a little differently as you are exposing weaknesses and then we work through those. Any questions, Brooklyn? Yeah. Yeah. I do jumping jacks, but I barely come off the mat. I'm 130 pounds. Do I have to worry about breaking a spring? Well, I don't know how long you've been doing it, but um, we have a lady who sent us a picture of herself at 95 years of age. She was doing jumping jacks. I'm not going to argue with it, it you know. <laughs> and, and she had a mirror. She's on our. She's in our customer reviews. There's basically just two things that I know of that really break springs. If you wear shoes and you're landing too close to the spring, it can fracture a spring. It may not break immediately, but it may break somewhere down the road. Um, and then the other one are jumping jacks. So what I do, and you've seen me do this, and, and I, you know, I, I did it this morning as part of my routine, is the, uh, the jumping jack where instead of kicking out side to side, which is right there, I don't think I'm hitting the spring, but I really am, or 
Um, I do it this way where I'm just jumping up and down. My arms come up and down over my head this way. You notice I'm centered. I'm landing on the mat closer to the middle. I don't have to worry about it. So it's up to you. And then as far as the benefits of kicking out side to side, that's all incorporated when I kick out side to side like this. So um, I can work, I've got to work around, but I'm still getting all those same benefits. How is it that Dave looks younger every time I see him? I have serious sciatic pain. <laughs> what exercises should I do? <laughs> yeah. well, that was kind. Um, yeah, I don't look so too, I look at myself in the mirror and tell myself, for my age, I'm doing great, I'm doing great. And I do, I feel good. Uh, but I know I'm getting older because <laughs> I see my kids. <laughs> They're all growing up so fast. Okay, um, sciatic, sciatica. Um, this gentle twisting side to side like this. As I'm bouncing, oh, notice the unit. That was the other thing is how do you avoid a squeaky unit? I could probably put a little oil on this one again, but you can, it's, it's really pretty, pretty quiet. Um, but that gentle twisting, just like this, that loosens up all the muscles that wrap around the hip area. And then, after doing it like this, then I keep my hip straight ahead, and I just work in the hip socket area. This is a great technique, and it's helped a great many people that have had sciatic issues. So that's a technique that I do for that. Thank you for all the questions, guys. I made a mistake one day last week and I attempted to lean over an armchair arm to reach a piece of paper that hit the floor. I don't know what happened to my right rib cage. It was bruised, oh. dislocated, cracked, obviously not enough padding for what I chose to do. <laughs> I will not go to any medical facility at this point. Should I be baby bouncing? I have no idea. Our rib cage is used for everything. Sitting, standing, lying down, breathing, and smoothing is absolutely horrid. You have any <laughs> yeah, done it several times. Um, yeah, you probably have a cracked rib. And again, you, I'm not giving medical advice, but I can tell you when I've had cracked ribs and I've had them a number of times, I, I've had all kinds of things. The, uh, it's going to take you at least a month or more really for that to knit and start to 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 really get better um, it gets worse before it gets better and then the swelling goes down and it starts to knit and it starts to to get stronger but yes I did I, I cellar sized and um, you can get an ace bandage wrap it around for a little additional support if you want that's what I did um, and again I'm not giving medical advice but this is what consult with your doctor <laughs> but this is what I did and it just takes time. Unfortunately, there's not a lot they can do, and they'll tell you there's not a lot they, they can do with a, with a cracked rib. It's just gonna, it's gonna take time, and I, I feel for you because I know what it's like. Any others? Someone said, I love my cellar sizer. I've noticed I'm really sore after workouts. I know it's because I'm using muscles I haven't used in forever. Will the soreness get better? Absolutely. Yeah, in fact, the, the cellar sizer doesn't build up the lactic acid like with typical exercises. So it's just generally in the very beginning. After the lymphatic system and the circulation improves, um, you, won't, you just don't build up the lactic acid at all. In fact, you just don't rarely get sore. I mean, you don't, you just don't. Um, it's when you first begin because you're absolutely right. You're using the fascia and connective tissues. And it reminds me again, you've heard me talk about the story of Kalahani. Wonderful guy, great uh, proponent of cellar size. I hope he's still using it. I met him over, no, probably 25 years ago. And great big guy, and, and he was a bodybuilder. And he lives down by Santa Monica in California. And when I was at the National Health Federation, he was bouncing up and down and using it all day long. He wouldn't get off of it. And I wouldn't argue with him, he's a lot bigger than me. But I use him for demonstrations. I say, Kalahana, Try this, do this, show them how to do this. And he did it. He was on all day long. Calls me up a couple days later. He says, David, what in the world is that thing? I'm in good shape. I'm strong. 
I haven't been this sore in years. And I said, Kalani, you use muscles, ligaments, tendons, fascia, connective tissue, you haven't used in years. So yeah, initially, um, it's, 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 remember, this is weight bearing on everything from the inside out, not weight lifting, weight bearing. It, you don't limit the effect. So, and you've heard me say it, muscles, bones, connective tissues, ligaments, tendons, skin, collagen, protein fibers, everything is collectively expanding and contracting with weight on it over a hundred times a minute. So yeah, that's intense. Can you further comment, does the twist and the modified twist both loosen and strengthen the hip flexors? Yes, does the, does the twist and modified um, twist help loosen the the hip the flexors, these muscles in this area? All of this does, you bet. And rocking even side to side. This is one, moving up and down, good approach. Right here, then after it's warmed up, then rocking side to side. As we're rocking side to side, you can actually take your hands, dig them in just below your hip bone. Feel those muscles working. They really are. They're working quite a bit. And then, yep, and the twist. So all of those are, are really helpful in working that hip area. Strengthening that hip area is a little different. That's the kick outs. Or, or doing the whippy ski patrol, which is also actually strengthening and stretching at the same time. So when I say the whippy ski patrol, the ski patrol is done, you know, like this. And that's ski patrol one, that's ski patrol two. But the whippy ski patrol is done with your shoulders coming up and down. And as you do this movement, if you have any tension in the lower back of the hips, you're going to start to stretch and open all of that up. Yeah, anything else? All right, well, I want to thank everybody for being here and for answering the, um, giving me a chance to, to answer all those questions. As far as the immune system is concerned, I wanted to read something to you because obviously diet's important today and most people live on a, to a large degree, and we all do, live on a lot of dead processed foods. And so I'm going to read something out of Dr. Morton Walker's book, which I think is somewhat enlightening. Um, for many of us, we know this, but it's nice to be able to see the research to substantiate it. And then we're going to talk about just a few movements that you can do to strengthen your own immune system, which is so important today as we, uh, as we address the challenges that we're all having to deal with. We want the immune system to adapt, to become strong. We want the T cells in our body to adapt quickly so they can respond quickly to foreign invaders, whatever they may be. All right, basic to improving your body and mind is to eat more nutritiously. Well, that makes sense. Poor nutrition and lack of exercise are the two primary causes for the increase in degenerative diseases in the United States. So that's it, poor nutrition and lack of exercise. These are well-established truths and most people recognize. Even the bureaucrats that run our government recognize this. Finally, finally, and now they are taking an interest in changing the lifestyles of Americans. More and more, the federal government has been taking an active role in setting up national food and nutrition guidelines. In February 1977, the staff of the Select Committee, Committee on Nutrition and Human Needs for the United States Senate under the chairmanship of George McGovern, former senator of South Dakota, released the Dietary Goals for the United States. Seven dietary goals evolved from the investigations of the Senate Select Committee, which were abhorrent to the food processing industry. I want to read that again. Which were, which were ab abhorrent to the food processing industry. They were avoid, to avoid overweight, consume only as much energy, calories as is expended. If overweight, decrease energy intake and increase energy expenditure. And that's what I tell people. If you want to lose weight, do the Jamba Run. The Jamba Run uses the biggest muscles of the body, which have the greatest demand for fuel, and they're going to burn it faster, as it also helps to increase metabolism. So 
the best way to lose weight is burn more calories than we're taking in. Really? Um, oh. We have a question on yeah. whether or not cellar size can help with chronic fatigue. Yes, I believe it can. Um, in fact, you might want to go read one of our customer reviews on it. It's on our, our website. <clears throat> Look up chronic fatigue. It, it might be there under that, that term. But there's a nurse, and that nurse was actually um, working with one of her patients, who's also a nurse, and she had chronic fatigue syndrome and fibromyalgia. And she tells about her experience in that journey and what Cellar Size did for her. It's a great story, great customer review. Joni, J-O-A-N-I-E. Wow, that's a memory. Look up Joni, J-O-A-N-I-E, and, and read, read her customer review. She'll tell you how she did it. Okay, two, increase the consumption of com complex carbohydrates and naturally occurring sugars from about 28% of energy intake to about 48% of energy intake. Reduce the consumption of refined and processed sugars by 45% to account for approximately 10% of total energy intake. Reduce overall fat consumption from approximately 40% to about 30% of energy intake. Reduce saturated fat consumption to account for about 10% of total total energy intake and balance that with polyunsaturated and monounsaturated fats which should account for about 10% of energy intake. Six, reduce cholesterol consumption to about 300 milligrams a day. Seven, limit the intake of sodium by reducing the intake of salt to about five grams a day. The food processors were in incensed by these dietary recommendations for the enhancement of citizen health because they were surely going to cut into the sales and profits of the processed food business. Consequently, it set into motion the powerful food industry lobby, which acted against the advocates of the, a return to localized agriculture and a simpler, less processed food supply. The lobby, in fact, was so powerful enough, it was powerful enough to have the select committee abolished December 31st, 1977. But before abolishment, Senator McGovern's committee prepared another report, Guidelines for Food Purchasing in the United States. The guidelines were intended to complement the select committee's first report on dietary goals, and they were just three things. Avoid pre-mixed, ready-to-eat, and, ref and refined foods in favor of fresh foods. Base number two, base food buying decisions on taste, price, and nutrition knowledge rather than advertising. Number three, as much as possible, purchase foods through cooperatives and farmers markets or grow your own. You know, that's, that's my advice is you want to supplement your diet every day as much as you possibly can with live foods. Live foods respond differently within the body than dead processed foods. Your body, when it is fed, has one or two options. It's either going to burn it, well, three options. It's going to burn it, it's going to get rid of it, or it's going to store it. So we want to utilize the nutrients, make it easier for the body to do that, incorporate a healthy diet as much as you can, live foods. Now, beyond that, healthy live foods. <laughs> the cellar sizer, they mentioned exercise. I don't think there's any better exercise in the world, I really don't, than what cellar size can do. It's been called the closest thing to the fountain of youth. You've heard me say it before and I really believe it is. So standing on the cellar size every day and moving up and down, getting that lymphatic system moving, I think is critical. You're gonna be exposed every day to viruses, germs, bacteria, fungus, all kinds of different things, plus what goes on inside the body. Dead cells, mutant cells, cancerous cells, whatever that is occurring. <laughs> we want our civil defense system working as efficiently and as effectively as possible for us. So every day that we get on the cellar sizer, we open up the lymph system. We get that circulating so it can work better, more efficiently. That's one. Second, if you've been exposed to something, 
we know through Dr. Arthur C. Guidance research in his, his book, Medical Physiology, that we get on a solar sizer, we run as fast as we can for one minute, and that's part of my routine in, in my morning, we'll increase the number of active white blood cells in our body by 10 to 15 times, and they'll stay there up to one hour. That's one minute of one hour of your own natural antibiotic. I can't say that enough. That today with what we're exposed to, I think is critical. And just again, when I, and you do it as, as, as you're comfortably able, but the cellar sizer will support you no matter how fast you try to run. <laughs> and so it's just, you know, get on this thing and go. Do that for a minute. You'll slow down toward the end and that's okay. But you're pumping, you're working and, and your body's responding. That's another one. So beyond that, opening up the bronchial tubes and the lungs so we get more oxygen in the bloodstream. And that's, you saw me do that earlier. That's just a... <laughs> that is going to help with getting more oxygen, which is what we need. And then beyond that, the lymphatic, the immune system, gentle twist every day. This gentle twist as part of our daily routine is taking our colon and our intestines, putting them through a little washing machine effect. It's taking our liver, kidney, spleen, gallbladder, pancreas, adrenals, is massaging them every day. So drink lots of water, and that's very helpful too. So as far as cellar size, those are really some of the most basic things we can do. Now, the moving up and down is also weight-bearing. It's weight-bearing on all the cells of our body. So as we apply the weight to, to the cell membrane, the cell membrane starts to become stronger. As the cell membrane itself becomes stronger, it's more resistant to the viruses, the germs, the bacteria, fungus, all these foreign invaders. So that, that's the weight brain. Now those elements, I think, are among the most important, important things that we can do to have a stronger, healthier, more efficient immune system. So please feel free to share this program with those you care and love. And thank you for sharing your questions with me. Is there anything else, Brooklyn? We are good. We will see you in a couple weeks. If you have any questions in the interim, feel free to call my office. Remember, you don't have to work out when you play in. Let's make it fun. Be well. We'll see you in a couple weeks.